Hi there, my name is Roman Sharp and uh, I just want to show you a little uh, piece of workflow on uh, the server-side debugging that I've started using. So um, uh, I've downloaded and installed this tool called TraceGL from uh, Rick Ahrens of uh, Cloud9 fame and um, that's just on TraceGL, uh, trace.gl. Um, it's $15, $15 which is a steal for uh, what it can do. It basically, from what I understand, it captures the state of your application at every uh, function call. So I've got this bug in my code um, where it's supposed to be calling this uh, this uh, Ajax endpoint and it says the uh, the player leaves the game um, but it didn't work. So I've got TraceGL running and um, it gives you this little kind of mini map and uh, you have this kind of full stack and you click on one of these and you can see kind of the, um, the stack call and when you hover um, you can see the pr the values of each of these uh, these these arguments, and the red kind of means it's a full screen. I think gives you a, uh, where is it a test anyway. Um, so the point is, uh, this thing is is failing. Other player left. So what I'm going to do is just grab this string and put it, put it in the search filter, and hit enter. It should filter down. There we go. Right. Okay. So um, other player. And it's filtered down to all of these calls that match that string, which is great. Now from here, I can start searching around to find the actual uh, function call. So um, let's find this, I think. If I go through, find the actual um, uh, the express root the playlist. If I click on this function, there you go. So it's gone, gone into the, uh, the function call, and I can see um, at the point where this was called, this session dot in game the value was uh, 1731. I can see that it makes this call to get and game has this value which is great. And what's happening here is it's supposed to say um, this particular player has left the game. Um, and in this case we said the other players left the game. So we pass in the session player uh, ID which is uh, letter B which is great. And that returns this object that is score, comma, data, date, and ID, and at that point I realize that I'm passing the wrong data structure in because I can see at the point in which it was actually executed um, on my application, you know, in fact yesterday in this case, um, that was the values being passed into my, my uh, function call. I need to change this to, uh, in my code, where in fact I can just double click on this and it'll jump me directly to my code. Um, I can see other player, um, that's not particularly the piece I want. I want this bit, so let's click on that, and I can just change that to .id, and that will fix my code. Um, but TraceGL, super superb new tool, um, kind of replacing my need for uh, Node Inspector. And what's really powerful about this is it works on the client side as well, so it can be a full trace of um, client side code. So go check it out. Really, really powerful tool.